uncommon leader and someone who is going to make all of us proud as citizens of this commonwealth. We can call ourselves politicians, grassroots organizers, whatever we are. We are community builders. My grandfather sat with me when I was a senior in high school. The last time I ever saw him alive. I was 17 years old. He was mid-60s. He was strapping. He was strong. He was going to live forever. <clears throat> Died a couple of months later unexpectedly of a stroke. But he said, Steve, there are only four things I ever want to do with my life. I want to have a family. I want to educate my kids. I want to own my own business and I want to give something back to the community. Family, career, and community. The building blocks of a full, rich, and fulfilling life. Yeah. Franklin Roosevelt laid them all out for us in 1937 in the second inaugural address. It's never been said any better than it was said in that address during the toughest economic times we've ever faced. Franklin Roosevelt said what? He said the test of our progress is not whether we add more to the abundance of those who have much, but whether we provide enough for those who have too little. Too few homes, too little education, too little health care, too little housing, too little hope, and too little dignity. What makes Democrats different than the rest of them? Because as long as the dignity of any one of our fellow citizens is hanging in the balance, we're going to get up, dust ourselves off, go to work, organize, 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 and give our fellow citizens the break that they need. Cities and towns in this commonwealth need help. And as Treasurer of the Commonwealth, I have made it pretty clear that there are three standards against which I want to be judged every single day as Treasurer. Number one, that I protected your money, that I protected the public's money every single day. Number two, that I helped create jobs during the toughest economic times we've ever faced. And number three, that I helped revitalize the small business sector of our economy, which is the lifeline of the backbone of our economic future.